Welcome to another video, Ken Kobe here. In this video, we are going to look at the clone deck and crossfade feature. To explain, we are going to look at how to clone, let's say, an event or a song from deck A to deck B, and at the same time, shift the crossfader to side B, right? So let's begin. So there are two ways to do this. You can either use a custom button or you can just use keyboard mapping. We'll go through the two of them in this video, but for the custom button, I've already set the parameters, so I'll show them to you, and then we'll look at setting a keyboard mapping for the same feature. So with custom buttons, these this is a custom button. They look empty when you install Virtual DA the first time. I've set the clone feature for this one, and then this one. If it is an empty custom button, to set a fresh action on it you just have to go to the empty custom button and then you left click right but if you already have a feature there or if you have something set on that custom button you will just go to the button and then you right click so this is the parameters for cloning from deck one i'll just copy because i'll use it for the keyboard so to clone from deck one what i'm saying is that just clone from deck one whatever is playing on deck one and then crossfeed 100% which will shift the crossfader to the right right and I'm also saying that clone 2 should also clone from deck 2 that is clone whatever is happening here and then send it to deck A and then also shift the crossfader to side A simple right so let's go and set the parameters for the keyboard mapping and we'll test all of them out together so i'll go to settings and then head to mapping i'll use control left and control right for this so i'll first set control right so control right should clone from deck one and then crossfade 100 percent and then control left should clone from deck two and then crossfader to zero percent so that's it so first let's test the keyboard out so i'll first load a song and then press play now on the keyboard i'll press control right you can see it close what it was here to here and then at the same time the crossfader also comes to the right now let me just unload the deck and press control left you can see that it does the same thing it shifts here and then our crossfader is also at the right now let's test the custom button as well so I will unload this track again and then I will use the clone 2. So it does the same thing. I will load this deck and then I will use clone 1. Easy as that. You know, with the custom button, you can choose to use any. Okay, whether you can choose to use any of the buttons on one deck. So let me unload this deck. Okay. Right and then i will choose clone one it will still clone here because the clone one feature says clone from deck one and then crossfade to 100 percent right the same way if i'm here i can just come here and then click clone two and then it will send it here so that's the beauty of the custom buttons so that's just about it i hope this video was helpful kindly give this video a thumbs up if you like it and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done that the name is king kobe and i'll come your way with another video but till then stay safe eat well and make the best out of every day